Whoa, dude. I think try to switch up on me. Look right here. The Phoenix Project. Uh, yeah, this book got... Uh... Wait a second. Is this something totally different? Whoa. Leave it alone. Right here, Phoenix Project Part 1. This is it. Wait. IT Revolution. What the frick? Back the fuck up off me, please. see we're going energy Reich. whoa dude this ain't even it dude let me see it again let me try it again okay renovation wait okay look pentagon renovation program this is probably why they freaking the phoenix project right here Shifting from, whoa, search for extra intelligence, extraterrestrial and radio s signals. Dude, maybe it's Phoenix program. Okay, maybe that's my problem. Wait, okay, fuck, it's not. I got it in project. Okay, Vietnam. That's the one I'm looking for. Thank you. The Phoenix program was a program designated, coordinated by the 1970, there were 74 U.S. Phoenix advisors throughout South Vietnam. The CIA's Phoenix program in Vietnam and global research. CIA and Operation Phoenix in Vietnam. Uh, counter spy. Army military intelligence counter spy. That's that X-Files type uh, black military industrial complex like operative. Uh, what is that called? Contact. You see, the other operation was the Hong Hong Phoenix program. Phoenix was one of the several pacification and rural security programs for the CIA that ran Vietnam. Vietnam. Listen, the Phoenix program in Vietnam in many ways provides a blueprint for our own times. Uh, I'm going to try, look, I'm going to click up on this one right here in Telehub. And the war on terror, terror, terror. The Phoenix program in Vietnam in many ways provides a blueprint for our own times. Assassinations and tortures are essential, wait, are the essence of Man, you fucking bastard. Do you see how this thing keeps fucking with me? Tracking fuse. 360. What the fuck shit? Excuse my... Excuse my language here. I just get irritated. When they try to sell me ads. The Phoenix program essential war on terror as death squads and false flag terror attacks. Uh, look at this. Look at all these pop-ups, man. Watch. This is gonna try to freaking like, get me to a porn site. Uh, the war on terror as our death squads, false flag terror attacks as our mass surveillance of the populace. Thanks to the work of Douglas Valentine in his classic book, The Phoenix Program. So that's another book like Protocols of Zion or the Iron Mountain Report. We have an extremely detailed account of the Phoenix Program exposing a classic example of brutality. Of the CIA's counterinsurgency wars by studying the Phoenix program. One can gain a great deal of insight into the wars in Afghanistan, Syria, and Iraq. Iraq. How the book came to be written is an interesting story in its own right, like Tropic Thunder. Doug Valentine had written, wait, well, yeah. Written a novel about his father's experiences in the prisoner camp of World War II called Hotel 
Tal wait Tal Tak Loban like Taliban or oh, <laughs> Hotel California. <laughs> He decided in his next book would be on Vietnam and he decided to focus on the CIA role since little had been written on the topic. He approached the former CIA director William Colby for his help and sent him a copy of his book and the former CID, uh, CIA director decided that Valentine was a man who understood all the harsh realities of war and he's been in the shit. And agreed to meet with him. And Valentine cut his hair and bought a suit and a tie. And went out in the, to meet Colby and managed to gain his confidence. Colby believed Valentine would write a sympathetic account. After all, the CIA is used to working with false frickin' yellow journalists. Who censor the truth in exchange for inside information. Colby arranged for him to meet hundreds of former agents. Cobra! Uh, Valentine had managed to penetrate the inner world of the Skull and Bone CIA. Amazingly, it took years for the Catholic Intelligence Agency to suspect Valentine had no intentions of writing a sympathetic account of their crimes in Vietnam. But by then, it was too late. He already had hundreds of hours taped interviews. He wrote his book and one of the most detailed accounts of the CIA program ever. However, the CIA used its influence with the New York Times to kill the book with the bad rap review. The book was buried in obscurity, and Valentine was forced to give up writing and become a poor Mexican cocaine farmer. No, that's, I'm joking. Became a private investigator, but fortunately one of the contacts he made while writing the Phoenix program helped him find an even more scandalous story and he went on to write the strength of the wolf and the strength of the wolf back which in great deal about the phony nature of america's decades long war on drugs drugs uh doug doug valentine is one of the most fearless researchers alive today and his works are re required reading for anyone interested in the CIA, organized crime, and America's corrupt establishment. What was the Phoenix program from the perspective of a bureaucrat like Billy Colby? It was merely an attempt to coordinate a number of pre-existing programs, sort of like the, home, like the Department of Homeland Security. And more precisely, it's the fusion centers where military, police, intelligence agencies pool information. Look, they trade dossiers on their enemies in the American wait on their enemies, the American people. Phoenix sought to provide cooperation between various Vietnamese and American agencies so they could coordinate their war on Vietnam. What was the Phoenix program? A massive campaign of torture, assassinating, and destroying what the CIA called the VCI, Viet Cong Infrastructure, InfoGuard. Uh, amusingly, this term was confusing to the Vietnamese as it probably is to you. They had to hold massive <clears throat> conference to attempt to translate the word, and they ended up using only further confused Vietnamese like legalese. Black's Law Book, by infrastructure of the Americans, meant not roads and bridges, but the civilian sh shadow government the communist revolutionaries had set up across the country. In many places, the ones in real control <clears throat> on the local level, they used their power to fight for land reform on the behalf of peasants. America's South Vietnamese allies were as corrupt class of elitists who supported the landlords against the peasants and were hated by the majority of the populace. For the Vietnamese, the Vietnam War was a revolution aimed at a land reform and reuniting the country. Since they had popular support from the National Liberation Front and hoped to win its power peacefully. However, the America had installed Nigo Dinh Diem as dictator, and he ruthlessly crushed all opposing attacking, not just the Communist National Liberation Front, but all competitors for power, including Buddhists and fellow nationalists. <clears throat> His power was narrowly based in Vietnam's Catholic minority, uh, 
And he looked, the CIA, Catholic minority, or a Catholic intelligence agency, and he, repli he relied on a massive network of corruption to maintain loyalty after tens of thousands <clears throat> of their supporters had been killed. The National Liberation Front appealed to the North for help. When Vietnam was split, thousands of South Vietnamese moved North, not wishing to live under Dem's reign. In North Vietnam, they had trained in political, organized guerrilla warfare, and they were sent. <coughs> they were sent south uh, to help organize the revolution. They formed what was known as the armed propaganda teams. They would enter villages at night and administer some revolutionary justice just by ex executing a corrupt local official in front of the whole village, then would explain the goals of the revolution, educate the village about the crimes of the regime, even stage plays and read poems like in Tropic Thunder. The NLF expanded their control over the countryside and set up their own system of government. This system extended from local level to small committees to the top level, which planned strategy, strategy for war. It was the system that the CIA targeted with the Phoenix program. Interestingly, the Phoenix program had its roots in an attempt to Im Im or mimic the tactics of the uh, Viet Cong, Viet Viet Cong, Vietnam was quite literally a giant laboratory for the study of counterinsurgency tactics. The early days of CIA presence where various CIA province chiefs were allowed to experiment with different ways of combat. The growing revolution, Ralph Johnson did decide to create the Mountain Scouts to imitate the tactics of the armed propaganda teams, recruiting hardened criminals, Viet Cong defectors, and various ethnic minorities among the Hmong and the Montagnards and the CIA formed brutal death squads, highly trained in methods of covert war. They would sneak into village at night and brutally slaughter someone they suspected of working with the NFL, wait, LF, NLF, among with their families and any witness in hope to attack would be blamed on the Viet Cong false flag. They called the counter-terror, ironically, since there was doing, wait, they called the tactic counter-terror, Ironically, since that they were doing the terrorism. In fact, throughout the Vietnam War, CIA huh, staged false flag terror attacks, even bombing theaters and blaming the Viet Cong terrorists like uh, the James Holmes. It was surprising that this aspect of war was little mentioned and given special reverence today. However, the primary purpose of the death squad commandos was to sneak into NFL-controlled territory and kidnap and kill some targets. In contrast to most of the forces like the Contras in Nicaragua in 1980, trained by the people from the Phoenix program, the fascist volunteer battalions in Ukraine who are poor fighters and only effective at terrorizing unarmed civilians, the Provincial Reconnaissance Units as the CIA's Vietnamese death squads were renamed what the most efficient fighting force in South Vietnam. There was the pride of Germany. They would form one of the primary elements of the Phoenix program, along with the field police that would be the enforcers. The next element of the Phoenix program was the province interrogation centers using CIA front companies, specific architects and engineers, the CIA built prisons all over the country to be used as to torture political prisoners. Are the exact forerunners of today's CIA black sites? <laughs> they would aiming to torture people, produce real or fabricated intelligence, recruit double agents, break people's spirits, and terrify the rest of the people's into submission. Vietnam was covered with these torture sites, often only modern buildings that was built in the village at the first. Viet Cong made freeing the prisoners as a major goal, and they staged a number of successful attacks. Inside, the prisoners were subjected to horrific torture, starvation, beating, electric shop, and rape. The special program, USAID, the infamous CIA front, pretended to dole out charity and sell telephone generators that was used to train secret police around the world to torture their people. Vietnam was only an example Anyway, man, yeah, this is uh, really bad. You can go back and read it for yourself if you want.